This is a review of this uh, TV antenna for over-the-air TV. And uh, I want to show you that I have, that's, uh, by the way, a Roku television set. I want to show you that I already have one of, an antenna sort of uh, similar type. And I already have it up here in the window. But, and I've ordered, in the past I've had several different types of antennas like this. And uh, I'll get into it in a little bit. Uh, they work well, but I'm always looking for one that picks up, you know, that just picks up a little bit more. And this will probably be the same as, uh, this one here will probably be up the same as the others that I purchased. But always looking for that little one that's just going to get all the channels. So uh, don't touch the mouse and I'm going to set this camera up and uh, be right back. So don't touch the mouse. Okay, I'm back. I switched cameras. I was using a Panasonic uh, FZ200 digital camera. I've switched to a uh, Logitech camera here that's hooked up to a USB camera that's hooked up to my computer. So I put the shade down, so I still have the old antenna hooked up. You can see on the screen here that this is the uh, what we're reviewing. I think it's larger than the one that's up there. That might help. Also, it has an amplifier that plugs into USB. You can also buy these type of antennas that uh, will plug into AC. I had one of those. Uh, it uh, was okay. Like I said, <clears throat> I've had several of these. I've purchased several of these. And I keep hoping that because there's always well, let's get this going here. This is a I gotta have to go to antenna input. I'm gonna turn the sound down. Hope we don't have any copyrighted material here. There's one channel. Whoops, wrong way. Okay, one channel. Over here, if you can see it, the signal strength is very one bar, and I'm not getting anything. Not get anything on this channel. Uh, okay, we do have a video here. Uh, we have video here. I've got the sound turned down. Video. 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 I'm in the Fort Worth area. I forget how many channels altogether that this one of course is in Spanish so I've actually taken out some of the uh, religious channels and uh, over the air channel or uh, religious ones and ones that are in uh, Spanish and other languages Now you can see this is breaking up a little bit here. So, um, maybe what I should do, I don't want to eat up too much time. It actually looks like right now I'm getting more, you know. Anyway, like I said, I'm in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And there is... Uh, one station, no matter where I have the antenna or the TV in this place, that um, there's one, th it's a, of course this is digital over the air. So there's a, forget which network it is, and they have three channels, because they were allowed when they moved from the channels that they had, the frequency band that they had, they could go to digital. They had to go. They were required to go to digital. 
and uh, all the other stations I think I'll try I'll put the link you can see what channels are in your area and get an idea of which ones you could receive um, And I forget this channel, but anyway, all the other channels are using UHF, ultra high frequency. And they're using, I may be wrong, they're using, let's say, uh, 500,000 watts for their transmitter to go to the antennas. Well, this very popular, and I think it's like 13. Well, no, 13 is coming in. That's funny. Anyway, kind of... Uh, I thought it was 13, maybe not. Uh, anyway, so all the other channels are using ultra high frequency. And they're using, let's say, 500,000 watts. I can, if I find that link and put it on here, I can show you. But this one that doesn't come, the one that doesn't come in well, um, they're using like, instead of 500,000 watts, they're using 50,000 watts. Way much, so that's the reason. So. Now I've kind of spoiled the thing. Tell you what, let's do. Let's let's kill. We have time, don't we? Let's uh, go back here to go down to settings. Go over to not network. Go down to TV inputs. I think it'll be yeah antenna TV. Okay, I don't want to edit the channel lineups. Okay, here we have a list though. 55 channels. Uh, I can scan again. And so anyway, we have, I have, I wonder if I, I think that counts all of them. You see, I have these, this one here, I think is, the, here is a religious channel. I have, take it's taken out of my lineup, so I don't see it. So let's do this. Uh, with this antenna now that's hooked up here and I just hooked it up uh, the other day. I've had it for a long time, hooked it on different sets. Let's, uh, so remember 55. Already connected, start finding channels. Let's see, are you connecting other equipment like a, uh, no. I don't need channels three and four for, uh, you know, a game device or something like that. So let's see how many channels with this antenna hooked up. And they recommend that you use the, that these antennas that you put them on the glass on a window if you can. Now that had a very short uh, cable. This one seems to be longer. And it appears to be, we'll find out when I take the other one down. And I've experimented a lot with uh, even hooking up two of identical ones to that and having a splitter, had a splitter, uh, one on each side and putting them a wavelength or a, I forget how many, you know, a distance apart. I even tried uh, doing such things as uh, having one uh, this way and the other this way. I even tried having one like this, you know, horizontal and uh, polarized, vertical pull. I've tried everything. And these pull in a lot of uh, channels. It's just frustrating that uh, some show some channel that you, you know, that you, you have a whole bunch of channels to choose from, but it's kind of frustrating if you want to see uh, Two Broke Girls or uh, The Big Bang Theory, and if that's, they're both on, I think, the same channel, if you can't get those, you know. Now, two, I mean, sometimes you could, and you, I don't want to do, be doing that, is, you know, <laughs> I don't want to, okay, I switch channels, so I'm not going to go move the antenna, you know. So anyway, this has a nice long cable. All the others, I believe, had short cables. And uh, this is a 
amplifier for this antenna that we're going to hook up here in a minute. Let me, we have, what was that, 55? Because I, we had 55 before. Let me write that down. My memory is not, especially with numbers. So uh, I'm going to hook up the amplifier here. One thing I don't like about this television set and some television sets, uh, the connector for is you have to there's a little lip there, so you have to get underneath the. Uh, a lot of television sets have just the connector right on the back. You just easily get your hands around it, and this one's kind of a pain. I like Roku television, so I like the you know the service or whatever. Well, I have plenty of USB connectors to plug this into. I don't even know if there's one on the television set, but I have very close here. I don't know if you can. Let's see. Let's see. See, this is a USB device to power it, so. Step three of finding the channels. So this will go into the back of the television set and this will plug into a USB right over here. I guess really what I'm not going to do it though. I guess what I really should do is uh, what do we come up with with the, the number of channels we come up with here. Probably what I should have done is hooked up this new antenna, scan, and see how many channels we get. Then hook up the amplifier and do a rescan to see how many uh, we get. Oh, let's see. Let's go over here and look at this. This is. Uh, it's really neat if you if you're if you're if you know if you're paying for cable television service, which I'm not. I've cut the what do you call it? Cut the cable. Cut the uh, the over the air channels. You get you know for the cable service they give you your local. They give you some of your local channels, but they don't give you you know they don't give you all of them. You don't get the uh, Hong Kong and the and the Spanish ones and the religious ones and uh, you don't get all of them, and you get a lot. And two, the if you have a good strong signal, the 1080p and uh, things are really uh, really look good just on your regular television set. Let's see, 50 mile range with the booster. I don't know how far. That's what I need to find is that length. Uh, for the, now this is for the United States. I don't know what I don't know of countries outside the United States uh, what their channel, what their TV setup is, you know what it's like. I'm not sure if you have digital over the air now, or um, or just how that works. But uh, all the stations here were forced to go to. They had to give up the band of frequencies that they were using and go to different frequencies and different different bands and then the frequencies that they occupied were given up sold auctioned off to corp big corporations or whatever to be used for cell phone service and all types of uh, different kinds of service and uh, so when these stations were on the old bands they had one channel but by going digital, they can have as many channels as they, uh, you know, as they want. So all of a sudden, you have some station that had their one channel: ABC News, CBS, NBC, whatever it was, and then they can have a second, a third, a fourth. You know, I'm not sure if there's a limit or not, but. Uh, 
I haven't seen anything great being done. Well, except for like uh, NPR, no, it's not, that's radio, then PBS, Public Television Service or whatever. They have three channels. And, you know, there they can be playing the uh, news hour and on the other channel they can have uh, children's programming and have something else on another channel. I'm sorry this is taking such a long time to, uh, but it's going to give us an opportunity to go over here. Yeah, I'll see it. If you have really an old television set, you might need a digital box to add to it. But most all, uh, you probably don't have now. You probably have a newer. But uh, those boxes, you can get them for like $19 or... This red, by the way, is uh, stick it on the glass. As you can see, they, they generally get they generally get good reviews. <clears throat> I think the probably the frustrating thing is what my frustration and probably other people is that there's going to be some channel that you want that you that you you know <laughs> you can't get, and you'll have forty or fifty other channels, and you'll be damn, I can't get that one channel that I really want. Uh, so it depends, you know, it depends on your location. Okay, only 38 channels were found. Okay. Now the reason that said 55 was before I had the television someplace else and actually had a different antenna hooked up. So with this one up here in the window now, set up live TV calls. Okay, sure. No, it may take some time, so I'm just going to say done. Okay. I'm going to stop this and hook up. There's no secret hooking this, you know, just stick this on the glass. So I'm going to stop this and I'll be back and we'll scan again. So uh, be prepared for, you know. I tell you what I'll do. I won't subject you to that. I'll... I'll hook it up and I'll scan and I'll see how many frequencies or how many stations we find. Then I'll, so don't touch the mouse because I'll be right back. It's actually going to be a few minutes. I might have lunch or take a break, but don't touch the mouse. Whoops, where am I? I forgot to start the camera. Okay. I have now put the antenna up. It was bigger than the other one, which I hope will help. Well, I guess we already have the results. Uh, we with that one we scanned. We had 38. The small one that's up in the on the glass, same sort of design as this one. We had 38 channels. I scanned with this with the amplifier, of course, hooked up. We have 51 channels. By the way, uh, something I noticed. Uh, if you wondered, or before it took a long time to do the scan, I wasn't paying attention. When you do that scan, then it's going to ask you if you want to also scan for cable channels. If you're not hooked up to a cable service, uh, for cable television, you know, or shows, then you don't have to do that scan if you're just doing over the air. Uh, so, so we got 51 channels. I haven't checked them yet, but I also want to mention this. These people give you a 30-day, if this doesn't work for you, uh, it actually it says, sounds kind of funny, it says you can apply for a return in 30 days. But I think what they mean is you've got 30 days to decide if you want to return this. Also, they have a guarantee that if this stops working during one year, um, you can get a new antenna. So, took care of that. Uh, so let's see what kind of, uh, oh, while we're doing that, let me show you. 
and there is a link at the top but I'll put the link below if I can and we'll take a look at this in a little bit this tells you what HD TV channels are in your area I haven't scrolled down the list yet unfortunately I don't think they get they give you the count of them I would have to count them I'm not sure I, I do have my shoes and so, I have my socks off I guess I could count up to high as 20 I don't think that's going to work we may just have to look and see what they have okay let's go to the uh, channels here whoops so you can't see Ugh. there we go maybe you may turn the uh, well to fall off the uh, it's going to have to be the best we can do for you. Go to the antenna TV here. Enroll for the first time. Let me Call start back at the beginning here. Okay, here's a religious station, which usually pounds in. It's not. Of course, I'll go through anyway and take off the uh, take it out. So there's a channel we're not getting. Up. I gotta turn the sound off and I got a problem with uh, we weren't getting this one I believe before so this looks good this looks good This is breaking up a little bit, uh, not a little bit, breaking up a lot. This is breaking up a little bit. Of course, what I will go th through and do is the ones that break up very much. You know, I, I may leave, I don't know, Spanish ones I'll probably take out. Uh, Wish I could remember what channel does Two Broke Girls and The Big Bang Theory come in on. I'd be happy just uh, It's breaking up a little bit. That's breaking up. That's breaking up. Ditto. Sometimes the TV channels are, are the uh, Spanish ones are. Okay, I think this is the one. I think it was 33. I think these are the channels that didn't come in before and now they are looks a little sparkly maybe not Roadhouse what a great great movie I actually said his line one time my way or the highway to somebody I was surprised and shocked when it came out of my mouth. Don't know if I just watched the movie not long before that or... Uh, but it was totally appropriate when I was, you know... Well, it looks like... Um, you know, I can't... I can say that this thing is, I think it's better. Um, you just, you know, you can't, unless you have an outdoor antenna, you know, it depends on how far your station, depends on if there's buildings in between. It depends on, you know, whether, I, if I put it in this window, if I move the television set to, uh, you know, the other end of the house, that would make a, uh, a difference, so. A dirty dozen.
Radio Star. I don't know what that is. I don't think this is in English. Well, I was going to say if it was in English, I don't have that time to wait that long. Okay, uh, back to, you know, this is, this antenna is superior over the others, but uh, still, you know, it's not perfect, but it's not the antenna's fault. But what is nice is the power adapter, and I like the fact that it's a USB, plug into USB. Um, I also like that the all the other ones that I had like this, uh, the cable was too, too short. It made it very, really hard to, this cable was so long. I, I think I could almost go down to the other, you know, the other window with it. So, um, if this is what you have to, uh, you know, if you, I don't know if somebody wants to put up an outside antenna or not. You're talking a lot more money and you're talking about somebody going up on the roof and you have to hope they don't put a hole in your roof or something. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it. Like I said, uh, I'm not going to, of course they have a nice guarantee in it. Oh, we wanted to, uh, Here's a list of, for this zip code. And uh, so you see, well, wait a minute, are they all, no, okay. You see the green, so 44, 43, 44. Okay, I don't think I, it looks, you know, it none of these apparently scanned. This is the public PBS. Um, I guess that's uh, guess that's it. I don't know what else to tell you. I, I do recommend the product. Um, like I said, I've purchased a whole bunch of ones like this. And I even the one that's still up in the window, the old one, I have purchased two of those so that I could hook them up and try different uh, things. And that didn't, that didn't really work. Just looks like you put it up and I mean if you you know if you have a house that's a two-story house or something and if it's a front upstairs you know near and a, the direction that they show you here the you know here where here's where I am on this map and they show you where the antennas are let's see which one well, I don't even know which one is which Yeah, I don't even recognize uh, since they've gone with everything new like this. I remember the old days. Back in Kansas City, Missouri, uh, I'll make this quick. I was, uh, since I was a kid, about 19, before 1955, I listened to shortwave radio, had a shortwave radio, listened to stations all around the world. Uh, Television, I think back then we had, I think they came in 59, I believe, first TV station. But when we had like three TV stations, VHF TV stations or whatever, on Sundays because of church, uh, and so they'd go off at night. They, you know, TV stations would broadcast during the daytime and then at midnight or whatever, they'd play the national anthem and they'd go off and then they'd come on at, I don't know, six or seven in the morning or something. But on Sundays, of course they, uh, didn't come on till 11 or 12 in the morning, so you'd have time to go to church. 
And uh, that gave me the opportunity to, there'd be no TV broadcasting on the channels. And uh, of course we had different, you know, we didn't have uh, digital over the air at that time. So on the dial, how many was there? 13 channels or whatever, I forget. Not counting UHF, which was more, but I think we had one UHF station. But on the uh, station, so the local stations weren't broadcasting, so I turned the TV set on and a signal would be, maybe it'd be weak. I might turn it on and bang, it'd be, uh, you know, a channel. And then you'd kind of have to wait for the uh, station ID on the half hour of the hour. And some of those stations were in Canada, uh, Cuba. I picked up Cuba on the regular television set with regular, regular rabbit ears. So that was called TV DXing. Uh, people did listening on just regular shortwave, on shortwave radios, listened on a regular AM radio. If you had a regular, that's actually how I got interested. My parents had an old True Tone console set that just had AM on it. Don't believe it had FM on it. Just had AM and I tuned it down to the bottom of the dial below the, the start of the broadcast band and I could pick up, no, I went to the high end. That was a go down to the low end and I picked up a beacon station sending out Morse code. And it was in South America someplace. I should remember the call sign because all I did was repeat their three letter call sign over and over again. No, it went to the high end of the band and uh, I could pick up police calls and stuff would come in and out, you know, and pick up other things. And that's what got me. Then I wanted a uh, shortwave radio and then that led to uh, me doing shortwave listening, putting out a uh, a newsletter, doing a radio, doing a, actually doing a, a shortwave radio program that was broadcast around the world, uh, all types of stuff. I was looking for a book. I was actually, there's actually a book that uh, I'm in that talks about shortwave radio in the early days. So uh, the point maybe being, I'm a little bit uh, familiar with broadcasting signals and receiving signals and uh, whatever, so I think it's a pretty good antenna. Uh, and I do like the long cable, and I do like the fact that it has an amplifier in it. So uh, I thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching this. If I'm going to upload this to Amazon and to YouTube. If it's on YouTube, uh, give it a thumbs up. Doesn't really matter, but make an old man feel good.